Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Roberto. You're the first one. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the first. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Okay. How are you? You're ready for the class. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me see. I just want to remind everyone that we can start right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're reporting to everybody that we can start right now. So, how are you doing? No flu, no more? No more, no more. <laughs> okay. I'm fine, thanks. And yeah. and the, the family too. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, because the symptoms yeah. of the flu are terrible. See. <laughs> and you feel uncomfortable. See. And the heat affects more. You that's feel, right. You feel the symptoms terrible. And if you're in the street, like driving, man, that's horrible. It's horrible. And the, ¿cómo se dice aire acondicionado? The air conditioner. The air conditioner. And then, um, porque me toca ir a los clientes y estar en aire acondicionado y luego salir al, oh, yeah. al ambiente. I have to. I have to visit clients. With I be, I I have I visit to, ah I have to visit a clients in the air con, in the air conditioner in air in the air, in the air conditioner and then go out to the heat. Go out to the to the heat. 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 Yes. Ah, heat. Ah, como los Miami Heat. Yes, exactly like that. Miami Heat. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excellent. So, tell me, Roberto, did you finish the platform? Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm I have a certificate. Oh, really? Yes. Hundred percent. Um, ninety-eight. Oh, come on, man. What happened? <laughs> Remember that if you have a problem with an exercise, you can repeat it. With an exam, you can do it again. And it's good practice to repeat. Yes. Hey, um, lo que sucede es que había unas que sinceramente no, no las entendí. ¿Por qué? Oh, you could have asked me. You got my, you got my contact. You can ask me anytime. No problem. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Roberto. There's Flora. Flora, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very good. Okay, great. Okay. Tell me, Flora. Yes. Okay. Casi no me escucha. Did you finish the platform completely? Yes. Okay. Let's see, because it's raining. Just give me a second. Okay, okay. I'm sorry that I was just closing a, a door because of the rain, the sound effects. Now you can hear me better? Laura, can you listen to me? Yes. Okay. So, you finished the platform, you told me. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Remember, <laughs> you don't have the 100%, you can repeat the exercise. And the system is going to take the highest grade. The system will have to not have and remember that practicing again, it's always good. Learning English is a matter of practice, okay? Okay. So tell me, Flora, how was your day? Um, my day was... 
a no sé, un poco pesadito, ¿cómo se dice? A little bit hard. A little bit. Hard. Hard. Okay, why? What did you do? Estuvo muy lleno de pacientes. Oh, really? Any patients? ¿Cómo? Okay, you say it like this, look. You say, there were, there were, mm -hmm. any patients. You see it in the shell? ¿Puede verlo en el shell? Yes. There were many patients. There were many patients. Oh, yeah. So it, it was a hard day. Yes. And you have to, what? Oh, you have, you answer phone calls from the patients. Yes. What is your job exactly? You are an assistant? Assistant. Yes. You do a lot of different stuff. You do many different activities. You have to do many different activities. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Flora. Okay. Now, let's see, let me change microphone. I got two different microphones. Okay, let's see, we are using this microphone now. Let's see if we, you can hear me. Urania, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Can you hear to me, Urania? Can you hear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Urania, you finished the platform? Yes, yeah. I do. I did, I did. <laughs> all, all finished. A hundred percent? Uh, 94 percent. No, no, Dania, you can do no, it. Sé. And you can ask me, remember. Uh, no sé por qué me aparece 94 percent y todo tengo completado. Check out the exercises. Perhaps in one of the exercises you have one mistake and you can you can ask me, you can check out the, the exercise and if you do not understand, you can ask me. Remember, tomorrow midnight is the deadline. So you still have tomorrow, you got time. It, it most probably is just one exercise. Check it out. And if there's any doubt, please contact me. I'm here to help you. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Perfect. Let's see. Thank you. Carol. Good evening, Carol. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Carol. I'm looking at you like this. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, <laughs> okay. Carol, did you finish the platform? Yes. Um, eh, solo tengo problemas con una tarea. Okay. Uh -huh. Contact uh, me directly on the WhatsApp and I will help you. Yes, uh -huh. yes, uh, yes, la mando. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Okay. okay, yes. So let's see. I'm asking everybody because it's part of my duties. So please try to understand me. It's part of my duty to ask everybody about the platform, okay? Yes. So let's see, let me see. Man, it's raining hard. Let's yes. hope it doesn't affect the signal. Esperemos que no nos afecte la señal. Because it is raining very hard. Hey, tomorrow we have class. Final class. Yes. Okay. I expect everybody here tomorrow. So let's see, Urania, tell me. Thank you, Carol. Urania, Thank how you. was your day? How was I your day? Oh, mm, um, today was terrible. <laughs> terrible? Why? Yeah, uh, it was raining. 
Raining. So, raining. Ra raining. Raining. And so there was an electricity electric service. Okay. Electricity. Yes. Electricity. Okay. Electricity. Okay. And so there was uh, a blackout. Listen, there was a blackout. Blackout? Blackout. Blackout. Apagón. Oh. Blackout. Apagón. Yes, blackout. Apagón. Ah, yes. blackout. 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 So yes, and, and it came at 8, 13 minutes. Oh my gosh, 30 minutes yes. ago? Yes. All day yes. long without electricity? That's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> Yeah. No Wi-Fi? No, nothing, oh, nothing. Man. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> that's what happened to me two days ago. Do you remember that I couldn't be in the class? Because of that, I had a problem with the with the connection. Yes, yes. Yeah. And right now... I, I... I think... I think... Um... Uh, creí que no me iba a poder conectar esta noche. I told. I told. I told. I told. Pensé. Ah. Yes, exactly. Remember. So, ah. it's past of thing. I told. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Carol, and your answer, I'm sorry. Thank you, Rania. Carol, in your answer, are you, are you including the question mark? Yes. Let's see, the first one, did you watch television last night? Yes. Exactly. Es... Solo son dos con las que tengo error, pero okay. entiendo que... Did you have dinner last night? Check uh -huh. out that you, have, that you have all the letters and the question mark at the end. Okay. Ah, okay. Voy a verificar. Okay. okay. Chao. Thank Chao. you. Yes. Okay, guys. Let's see. Well, I think the the rain is affecting your classmates because. Is it raining where you live, Carol? Yes, is uh, mucho. Yes, yes. yes. What about in your house, Roberto? Is it raining? In this moment, no, no, it's not rain. No, it no. It is not raining. It is not raining. That's right. Okay, good. Cool. Here in my house right now, there's a heavy rain, heavy, heavy, with a lot of wind. So it's raining. Where do you live? Rain. Where do you live, teacher? I live in San Martin. Ah, in San Martin. Yes. Ah, pues ya va a comenzar. Ya va a venir por este lado. <laughs> yeah, it's moving that way. Hey, yeah. look, there's Tamara. Hello, Tamara. Good evening. Oh, she's connected. Hello, Tamara. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank and you? you? Tamara. I'm just great. And I'm asking everybody, tell me, did you finish the platform? Yes, yes. I okay. finished Monday. Oh, my gosh. On Monday. Wow. That's excellent. A hundred percent? Cien puntos? Yes. Uh, 100. Excellent. That's good. That's good. Okay, guys. So, today we are working. Do you remember? We have been working like the last two weeks with the simple pass. Simple pass is very big. It's very extensive. But tomorrow we are going to do a general review. But today we are going to apply the simple pass in questions with the rest of the verbs and with the verb be, okay? 
We are going to use it with all the verbs. So let's start. Do you remember that I asked you to check out a video from the platform, the 5.9? So we are going to, let's see. And the internet connection is bad, 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 bad. But we are going to, let me just set it up before we start. Otherwise, it's going to give us problems. Well, as I was telling you, we are working with the simple past. If you remember, for the simple past, when we are making questions, if it's the verb be, if it is the verb be, you remember that it is the verb was or were, then the subject, the complement, and the question mark, okay? Like, were you, were you at home uh, last Sunday, Urania? Uh, mm. Yes, I was, or no, I wasn't? Yes, I was. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, the, if we have the WH questions, do you remember the WH questions are information words? And with WH questions, it changes a little bit because we are talking something a little bit different. When we use the WH questions, the WH word, what, where, when, how, why, they go at the beginning before the whole sentence, okay? Like, Roberto, tell me, where were you last Sunday? I was uh, at training with my sons. Okay, you were at training with your kids. Yes. Excellent, excellent. So in this case, if you notice, I am asking for information. In the first case, when I asked Urani, I asked her, where were you? And she answered, oh, I was. Okay. Okay. She answered, yes, I was at home. Or she could have answered, yes, I was. But in Roberto's case, I asked for the information. Okay. See, Joel has a problem with the password. Oh, no, but I have you here, Joel. So, let's see. Hello, Ana Maria, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine. You're fine today? Yes, I'm fine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. glad to have you. Tell me, Ana Maria, did you finish the platform? Yes. Great, excellent, excellent. Now let's see if the, oh yes, the video chart already. I'm sorry guys, but the heavy rain is affecting a little bit the, the connection. If we lose connection for a little moment, wait for me that I'll connect again, okay? Okay. Because even the electricity is like going back and coming. So, don't go away if I am not there. Wait for me. So, let's see. I am going to share right now. And let's see. Oh, can you see the screen? This is the video from the English Colativo platform, the 5.9. So let's listen to it. Let's hope it charge soon. Let's just give it a second. Oh man, it went all the way back. WH questions with did, was, and where. 
Okay, we need it since the beginning. I'm sorry, guys. Tiene tos. Yeah, got a problem. WH4. Yeah, got the flu of the video. WH4. Okay, but it's loading back again. Now, but we can do a different activity right now because it's related almost to the same. Don't worry that I have plan B, okay? We are always prepared for this type of a problem. Okay. Now, my, my presentation, can you see it? Let's see. I'm sorry that the platform is the internet is giving us problems right now. It doesn't work. Okay, can you see the screen that I'm projecting? Pueden ver la pantalla que estoy proyectando? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry, but as I told you, because of the rain, we are having problems right now. Perdón, pero por la lluvia nos está dando que hacer ahorita. Se puede recibir la clase mañana. Ya regresó. Teacher, el micrófono. Sorry. ¿Me perdí por un momento? Yes. yes. Oh, I am so sorry. This is the transition between one screen and the other. La transición entre una pantalla y la otra is affecting us. But don't worry. We can do everything here. And we are going to. Okay, let's see. We are going to use the chat from the from Zoom. Okay? Vamos a usar el chat de Zoom. In the class for today, I was explaining to you how to use the uh, the WH questions. Remember that the WH questions we have something like what? Okay? You remember the word what? Okay. Of what? Okay, now look at this question. It's very simple, and it's one question that we usually do here. What did you do in the morning? What did you do in the morning? If you see, it's very simple, no? If you check out the question, we have the, the WH word right at the beginning, then the auxiliary bill, the main verb in the base form, el verbo principal en su forma base. What did you do? And then the call in the morning. Now, what would be the answer? Oh, the answer always, if it if it's a, an information question, we need to answer giving information. That means that we are going to use for the answer a verb in past. So let's see. Roberto, what did you do today in the morning? 
I did, I, I did clean my car. Okay, remember, when we answer, we don't use the field for the affirmative sentence. We just use object and the verb in past. Okay? So, Roberto, you need to see, I did the verb. What did you do in the morning, Roberto? Uh, eh, no, ent no entendí la, la corrección. Para contestar, no utilizar el DIR, porque el DIR los utilizamos en preguntas y en negativas. No utilizamos el DIR. En respuestas afirmativas, no. A menos que sea ah. answer. ¿okay? A menos que yo diga, eh, no sé, ¿cómo sería para utilizarlo en una yes, respuesta I corta? Ay. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Ah, pero me está preguntando información, entonces no puedo utilizarla. Okay, okay. I cleaned my car in the morning. Excellent, Roberto. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Now, thank you, Roberto. What about you, Ana Maria? Tell me, what did you do today in the morning? I worked. I worked on Ana Maria. Just that. Leave me alone. Yes, I worked. Don't be, don't be stingy. You know this word? Don't be no. stingy. Stingy. Don't be stingy with your answers. Please, Ana Maria, tell me, what did you do in the morning? Hey, uh, scrambled eggs in, uh, at breakfast. Okay, perfect. What time did you go to work today? Uh, I'm, I work for a month. Oh, really? Yes. Ooh. Oh, but with your kids must be hard. Yes. <laughs> Very hard. I think you would prefer going to the office. Sometimes I prefer that. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. Taking care of kids and working at the same time, terrible. Okay, thank yes. you. So, that's with what? But we have more WH questions. Now, let's go with another one. Let's go with where. Where, remember. Because of the of the rain, we are using just the platform, okay? Disculpe, nuevamente claro, disculpen los inconvenientes, pero debido a la tormenta, este, si trato de compartir la pantalla del video que traía preparado y la presentación, tenemos problemas con la señal. Así que vamos a trabajar por el momento solo con Zoom, okay? And we are using the chat from Zoom for the text. Y estoy utilizando el chat de Spoon para el texto. Ahí pueden ver lo que les digo. So, where. Where means, ¿dónde? Now, let's see. I have an interesting question here. Let's see. Uh, Carol, tell me. Where did you study high school? Tell me, Carol, where did you study high school? Hello, Carol. Carol was having problems with the connection. Oh, she doesn't have electricity. Ouch. And who else got problems? Let's see. Yeah, because the rain is giving problems. Oh, Tamara had the same problem again. Ouch. So, Flora, tell me, Flora, where did you study high school? Hello. Where did high you? High school. 
Then I speak. I. But yeah, I. I wear también la, 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 la respuesta. No, I study. I study. Okay. I study. In, in Instituto Instituto Trevisa. Okay, that's the answer. But you see, it's very, very simple. I started at Instituto Previsa. Okay, now I have a different question. Where, where was it located? Donde estaba that institute? Where is it located? Ciudad Previsa. Okay. And you see, it's very simple. If they ask us using this, we answer with the verb in past. But if they ask us something using the verb be, we answer with the verb be. Okay? That's something that we must have to remember. Now, let's see. Let's see if we can share it again the screen. Let me see. Vamos si podemos compartir, because I would like you to watch the video. This class will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of me. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. I'm sorry, guys. Can you listen? ¿Se escucha? Yes. Okay, perfect. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. I'm sorry. This is for today. It's exercise 5.9. WH questions. We did learn to ask and answer. WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled where did you grow up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look. What do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze... Okay, before we analyze anything, let's see. We are going to check out the conversation here. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? Look, we have a question here. Did, where did you grow up? If you see, we got the WH question, then the auxiliary did, and then the verb in the base form in present grow up. The answer with the verb in past. I grew up in Texas. Before we analyze the structure, let's practice the pronunciation. So let's see, let me check something. Okay, guys, I have you here. So, Ana Maria, are you around? Yes, teacher. Okay, Ana Maria, you are Melissa and let's see, Flora. Hello, Flora. Okay, hello. You are Chuck. Okay. 
Juana María, you can start. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come come to Los Angeles? In nineteen nineteen nine nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstyle hair stylist? Hair stylist. Hair stylist? Yes. Because yes. I knew knew the money and I love it. Look what do you think? Well uh Okay, perfect. Remember, major, major. Perfect, ladies. Remember, when we say major, we are talking about the specialization. So his major was in drama. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Mr. Joel, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, Mr. Joel, you are chalk. And let's see, Tamara, hello, Tamara. Hello, teacher. You are Melissa. Eh, me la puede compartir al WhatsApp, es que no la veo bien en la, en la pantalla de la compu. Ok, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'll do it in a second. So, hold on, uh, Tamara. Uh, right now, Mr. Joel, let's do it with uh, Urania. Ok. Start? Yes, please. Okay. So, so. Chuck, I'm Melissa. Yes, Urania. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew, I grew up in Texas. I was born there, there too. And um, when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. To start So why do you interesting? That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, perfect. Excellent. Tamara, you are ready? Hello, Tamara. I continue, teacher, or you change other uh, students? Uh, I will choose somebody else. Thank you very much, Joel. But I think Tamara is, uh, let's see. Carol, are you around? Hello, teacher. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's Tamara. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, Carol. Tamara and okay. Roberto. Tamara? Tamara is Melissa. Roberto is Chuck. Okay. So shock. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990 and went to college here. 
Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Thanks, interesting. So why did you because a uh, first because I need the money and love it, and I love it and I love it look what what do you think well okay perfect Tamara thank you very much remember guys major 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 little I needle the money, okay? I needle the money. So thank you. Let's see, Carol. Hi. Hello, Carol. Let's Hello. see. I'm sorry, Hoyle. Can you help Carol, please? Okay. So Carol, you're Melissa. Please start. Okay. So child, so child, where do you grow? Growing up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what, were, what was your major? Drama. I was an, an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become, become a high, high hair stylist? Hair stylist. Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, Okay, perfect. Money, money, money. Money, okay. money. money. The okay. money, I need the Thanks. money, perfect. Thanks to you, well, very well. So, let's listen just to a little bit of the oh. explanation. What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together hoping that it's not confusing or difficult so let's start with questions with did when forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be we can follow this formula wh word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement Okay, remember, and this is very important, we use this when, with any verb that is not the verb be. If we use the verb be, no deal. Okay? 
this is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what. Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions Okay, so if you see the explanation, it's very clear, no? Any question about the explanation? Alguna pregunta con esta explicación? No? Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's see if we got everything clear. Ya, vamos a ver si es cierto. Let's see, now I think we can do this. Okay. WH questions. What? You remember the first question that I asked you? What did you do today in the morning? And Ana Maria told me that she had scrambled eggs for breakfast. Good. And then I asked, where did you study high school? Okay. Now we have when. When did you finish high school? Let's see. Mr. Roberto, when did you finish high school? Tell me. I uh, finished, uh, no, no sé si se pronuncia así, finished. I finished, yes, I finished. I, I finished my high school in, in Cristobal. Oh, when, cuando, cuando. Ah, when, when. Yes. Es fecha. Ahí me está preguntando yes, exactly. una fecha. Ah, okay. Year. When you finish, I I finish uh, my high school in 1997. No, 1997. Sí. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done. Let's see, Ana Maria. When did you finish high school? Uh. I don't remember. <laughs> Come on, Ana Maria. No. Uh, I finished my high school in uh, 2005. Okay. In 2005, or you can say in 2005. In this case, you can use both. Ahí puede usar ambos. You can say 2005 or 2005. Okay. Now, let's see. How? How did you get home today? Joel, tell me. How did you get home today? Uh, by car? By bus? Uh, I, I didn't. You didn't go out today? 
The question means, ¿cómo llegó a Panamá? Oh, sorry, no entendía. Um, I got, remember, the verb in past. You see, get, it's an irregular verb. So you say, I got. Okay, I got um, dry more cigarettes. Okay, I Return got to home. my home. Okay, in a motorcycle. Motorcycle. So you ride a motorcycle. Yes. Remember, when we talk about motorcycle, we don't say drive, we say ride. Right, uh, drive on only car. Yes. You ride motorcycles, you ride horses, and you ride bicycles. Uh, okay. okay. Thanks, teacher. Sure. You're welcome. Now, these were WH questions with the auxiliary deal. Remember, with different verbs. Here we have the verb do, here we have the verb study, finish, get. Now, WH questions, again, we got what, but listen, with the verb be. So let's see, Urania, tell me, what was your favorite subject at school? My favorite subject was um, language. Was language. Perfect. Yes. Okay, what about you, Tamara? What was your favorite subject? My favorite subject is science. Science? Science. 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 Okay, perfect. Now, look at this question, guys. Where? Where was your school located? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who am I going to ask right now? Uh, Roberto, tell me, where was your school located? My, my school wa, was located in Calle San Antonio Abad. Okay, excellent. Actually, that's, yeah, that's Calle San Antonio Abad. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, I remember. I used to pass there when I was a kiddo. Thank you. Now, let's see. Urania, where was your school located? Oh, my school was in downtown. Downtown San Salvador, downtown Chalchapa. Downtown, downtown Chalchapa City. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now listen. When? When was your high school graduation? Let's see. When was your high school graduation, Carol? Mm. Uh. My graduation is was 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 in October in yes. nine, 90, 90, no October ninety ninety third ninety three ninety three okay okay excellent what about you Flora when was your high school graduation I I was in it was it was in the, the years 2005 2005 oh my gosh it's been recently <laughs> Okay thank you thank you Now look at the last one how Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who are we going to ask? Ana Maria, how was your graduation? Tell me. A big party? Uh, my graduation was boring. <laughs> oh, 
Why, Ana Maria? There was no party. No, the nuns. Eh, oh, the nuns. Didn't, yes. Didn't okay. allow eh, the parties. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Well, you did well with the answer. The nun, the nun. Look, guys, look in the chat. Nun. That's monja. Okay. So that means that you and Roberto, you have to attend mass. You have to attend mass once in a while. Okay. Now, man, believe it or not, right now the rain stopped. And we just have like 10 minutes of class now. And now the rain stopped. The whole class is being raining here where I live. Terrible. Okay, but still we need to check out some vocabulary because for tomorrow we are going to do a general review and we are going to check some exercises from the final exam. Okay. Remember, oh, do you remember that tomorrow we have a class, no? ¿Se acuerdan que mañana tenemos clase? The final class? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, because Tuesday we couldn't. Party. So let me share. Party to, for tomorrow. And yeah, no party. No party, Roberto. No party tomorrow, okay? Here, here, here. Okay, cool, cool, yes. Tomorrow <laughs> you are allowed to go pairing after the class, not before the class, okay? Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Let me share with you. Just let me check this. That needs to be ready. Because we are going to talk about school, you know? School and the school days and the school situation. Wow, now the internet is running very fast. Hey, this. Okay, look. You do a couple of things. First, listening and practicing. Classes. History. Math. Physics. Okay, let's do something, guys. Please, open your microphones and let's practice the pronunciation, okay? Okay. okay. Classes. 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 History. 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 Math. 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 Remember, math. 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 The TH is pronounced as a Z, como una Z en español. Math. 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 Physical education. Physical education. Physical education. Okay, now with physical education, you will listen to a lot of people just saying PE. Just the first letter, PE. That means P. physical education. Physical education. Physical okay, when people speak, cuando las personas hablan en inglés, a veces solo dicen la P y la E, PE. And they refer to physical education, okay? P. P. Science. 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 Perfect. Schools. 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 We're talking about schools. Schools. College. 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 Perfect. Elementary. 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 Okay, now I'm going to clarify something. Elementary. Elementary school is. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. That's elementary. Okay? In the United States, that's elementary. Uh -huh. Junior high school is junior high school is six, seven, and eight. Okay. And high school is nine, ten. And 11. Okay? 
Let's continue. Hi. Junior high. Hi. Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Hi. 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 Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Places. 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 Classroom. 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 Gym. 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 Lunchroom. 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 Playground. Now. Playground. 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 Thank you very much, guys. Playground. Let's see. So if you see when when we are speaking about the subjects we use math, science, English, P. If you say physics with an S at the end, you refer to the, the subject, no physical education, okay? Physics is physical, part of science, okay? So let's see, Ana Maria, what was your favorite subject at school? Say English, please. My favorite subject was chemistry. Chemistry? Man, yes. that's difficult. No, it's easy. No, I hate chemistry. I love physics. In my case, I, I love, love physics, physics too, but I like more oh. chemistry. For me, physics was easy cheesy. Well, let's see. What about you, Roberto? What was your favorite subject at school? Uh, my favorite subject it was uh, math. Math? Okay. Like what about you, Anya? Thank you, Roberto. My favorite subject was um, in the school. Yes, at school. At school um, was physical education. Come on. I like it. I like, like it. That was fun for you. <laughs> Great, excellent, excellent. What about you, Joel? What was your favorite subject at school? Uh, teacher, uh, uh, what can significa subject? Asignatura. Uh, <laughs> um, my favorite. Uh, so, subject was was is uh, math. math math okay excellent actually you know what in my case Ana Maria I, I'm remembering that I love physics but my favorite my favorite oh doesn't exist no more it was letras that was my favorite subject because I love reading. Let's see, guys. Well, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Time's up. Guys, yeah, Nurania says, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, tomorrow, remember, we have class at nine. Please be in the class. I have very good information for you. We are going to practice a lot of speaking. You are going to practice. And remember, practice is important for us. So. Thank you for bearing with me. Que sí, que he tenido problemas con para ingresar a la plataforma y terminarla. No me no me deja ingresar con el correo que mandé y, y la contraseña que puse no me ha dejado ingresar. Y entonces eso me ha dificultado poder terminar la plataforma. Okay, Joel. At the end of the class, right now, I'm going to stop the recording. Please stay here. Por favor, no se me desconecte, okay? Okay. Good night, Bye -bye, guys. guys. Take care.
Tomorrow, remember, tomorrow. Yes. Yes, yes.